Hey everybody, welcome to the Alula and Artec webinar. Today we're going to be looking at Back Connect. Why use any other communicator? Just want to check real quick that we've got audio. Hillary, are you hearing me okay? Yep, I can hear you perfectly, Kevin. Thank you. Excellent. All right, guys, I want to make sure y'all y'all hear me okay as well. So go ahead and type hi into the chat box uh, and let us know if the audio is coming through clearly. Um, but while we're doing that, I want to do some introductions. Of course, I'm Kevin Hoffman. I'm the host of our popular webinar series and the administrator of our pro Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Uh, go ahead and uh, join us there. Um, especially yesterday, we've got Robert Moles, the president of Artec. He started Artec Canada in his basement in 2002 and has 30 years of experience in distribution. Robert, thanks for being with us today. Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I hope we're all well and uh, adapting to the new normal. Thank you, Robert. And then Hillary, you heard from her just moments ago. She worked for Lula in the past 2.5 years and spent 10 years in technology sales in Silicon Valley. Hillary, thanks for uh, being my technical assistant today. You're very welcome, Kevin. Hi, everyone. And of course, we've got Dave Main, a stalwart member of these uh, webinars. He's our VP of product management for Alula. He's got 20 plus years in wireless security. And recently, just this morning, we found out he has been issued five patents. Uh, it was three, but we looked it up and now it's five. Dave, congratulations on all those patents. Thanks, Kevin. Glad to be here and uh, good morning or afternoon to everybody, depending on uh, which end of the country you're on. Excellent. All right, all right, Dave, uh, why don't you start us off by walking us through this agenda? Yeah, well, I mean, the the title is, you know, uh, about communicators and, and Alula is a, a relatively new entrant um, uh, up into the Canadian market uh, in terms of our interactive service. So I'm going to introduce everybody to who Alula is um, and then specifically around our communicator family, Bat Connect. That's going to be the focus of, uh, of this discussion. And there's several features Bat Connect brings to all of our professional partners um, around multiple paths of communication, uh, around really optimizing business operations in terms of what's available on the truck, uh, how many SKUs you need to offer, and really an opportunity to give um, upselling uh, in increasing not only the upfront sales, um, but also ongoing RMR opportunities for all of our partners, um, which becomes important uh, whether you're dealing with sunset issues uh, or new installation issues. So. Uh, the focus here is is really not around purely the technology, but how this technology can be applied to to help improve your business. And and you know we look forward to continued discussions beyond the webinar and how we can help you do that. Excellent, thanks, Dave. So before we get too uh, too in depth, let's just give a kind of high level overview of Alula. Uh, Dave, why don't you talk about um, what we bring to the table? Yeah, Lula is a, a relatively new brand in the marketplace. Um, uh, probably been about two and a half, maybe uh, uh, three years in the market as a Lula, um, but it was created through the acquisition of two companies that have been, you know, longtime players in the space, um, IP Datatel and Resolution Products. Uh, I think some of the key points, though, on Alula as a company is we are 100% partner focused. What that means is we work uh, within the professional security channel. Um, we work with all of you, the uh, the hardworking um, dealers that help make uh, security and life safety, uh, as well as connected home and business solutions um, viable in the marketplace. We are vertically integrated, meaning we own, own everything from the sensors up to the service offering. So um, we make security panels and communicators and devices that connect up security systems to a cloud offering. We provide apps and management tools to uh, enable those. And we really focus on um, being able to deliver uh, the best user experience and the best tools to help dealers run their business efficiently. Um, we, we focus on both new installs, uh, a brand new clean uh, security install, as well as takeover solutions, um, whether you're uh, upgrading your own products or if you have opportunities to take over other existing systems. And we're, you know, by being vertically integrated, we can help quickly adjust to new business models. So we're all faced with uh, Robert uh, in introducing the, the new normal, and I don't think any of us know what the new normal is going to be. Um, but as the world changes, as we look for contactless uh, installation options and ways to continue to run your business in the world of COVID, um, or if you're dealing with competition from uh, you know, DIY players or other 
uh, new entrants into uh, the, the uh, you know various adjacent markets we bump into, we we give tools and can help you manage through those process. So um, uh, it's it's a new brand, but it's a, a very experienced organization, and we're even more um, fresh in the Canadian market as historically our communicators and interactive services. Um, didn't work in the carriers up in Canada, but over the past couple of years, we've made an entrance there and giving you a new option to go to market. Thanks, Dave, and thanks for shining that spotlight on COVID-19. That's obviously the elephant in the room that we're all dealing with. I'd like to hear how you guys are dealing with it. If you could just go in the comments, let us know um, if it's affecting your business, how you're uh, uh, managing in this time. Um, I'll be going to Hillary a little later in the presentation to get some feedback. Uh, I'd love to hear um, what you guys are doing, and I'm sure your fellow pros would as well. Uh, Dave, um, one thing that we do have going for us in this time is that we've got a great platform that uh, is really good for the end user and provides that sense of security that we're all looking for during this um, uh, pandemic and this kind of challenging new era. So uh, Dave, tell us a little bit about the smart security platform that Alula has. Uh, yeah, thanks, Kevin. And and really, I want to focus starting from the very top. Um, everything we're going to discuss today is around our interactive services. What you see up on the top is our mobile app on the left. Um, that is the tool that you give to your customers to monitor, control, get notifications from, and provide services to every device that you deploy uh, out in the marketplace. Um, consider this, you know, our, our interactive services bump up against uh, companies like Alarm.com or Honeywell Total Connect um, or, you know, SecureNet if you're if you're uh, working in that world. So it's, it's literally an app and an interactive service. Um, we take it a step further and we have a touchpad you see in the middle, which is a seven inch touchscreen um, that can provide home automation, uh, video and security controls inside a building. Um, and what's interesting about that uh, is it, it it's very uh, sleek and um, uh, modern design, and we're going to spend some time talking about that. But it has a consistent user interface to our app. So everything we do is a consistent user interface. And then on the right, on the top, we have our management portal, which is what all of our professional partners use to onboard, remotely manage, and provide services without having to roll a truck, keeping costs very low uh, in the process. So. Our focus is around interactive. We deliver that interactive in three different ways. Uh, first off, we have Connect Plus, which is our own hub. We won't be spending much time talking about that today, but it is a UL compliant, ULC compliant, I'll, I'll speak to the Canadian market here, um, uh, security panel uh, that will work with that touchpad I discussed above and provide, you can add sensors to it. It is a full on security system. Our focus is going to be in the middle, Bat Connect, delivering that same user experience and support for the touchpad on a broad range of existing systems from Honeywell, DSC, Interlogix, Snapco, and others. And then on the right, we have a video offering, which is integrated in with our security app, which can run in an integrated fashion or standalone. If you just want to offer doorbell cameras, you can run that standalone. So um, we are a complete solution provider. Uh, we focus on the interactive on the top. Our focus today is going to be on the bat connect in the middle, but keep in mind everything we talk about from the interactive capabilities will apply whether you're doing a new installation, takeover, using our communicators, panels, or just cameras. So I, I just wanted to emphasize that on this slide. Absolutely. That's a great look at the flexibility. But as you said, today the spotlight is on bat connect. Um, in a future webinar, we'll be tackling Connect Plus. So be sure to sign up for that one as well. Um, but we're really excited about Back Connect. Um, it's really taking the industry by storm. Uh, Dave, why don't you talk a little bit about what makes Back Connect so different? Well, uh, yeah, Kevin, our focus with all of our partners, we, we try to listen. We, we try to understand how you live, live your life every day and how you run your business. And the focus is on keeping your total cost of ownership low. So on um, Back Connect, I'm going to hi highlight uh, two bullets. Um, the, the upper right corner, one SKU supports multiple panels. Our key is get one product you can put in your truck, you can have in your warehouse, you can go pick up at our tech and solve really any installation problem. Um, we can we support multiple panels. If it's not a panel we bus connect to, we have tip and ring available on it. Um, we're going to do a deep dive on the capabilities, but it is a single product that you can use for new installs uh, or for takeovers no matter what type of system you're installing. 
And then reducing truck rolls, the last bullet on there. Um, we have a management portal, Alula Connect, that allows you to onboard, but I think more importantly, see real-time status on what's going on on a system, are there trouble beeps, what's the trouble condition, and diagnose things without having to roll a truck. So our focus on Bat Connect is really delivering interactive services, but doing it in a way that's going to allow our partners to be competitive in today's market. There's increased pressure on recurring revenue. There's increased pressure on hiring technicians. Um, so we keep training low, we keep training of your techs low, of your customers low, and we provide remote service tools that allow you to run your business as efficiently as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Robert, I'd be interested in hearing from you. What kind of feedback have you been hearing back from your customers about this? Yeah, so far the feedback has been incredibly positive, I'd have to say. I mean, this, this communicator does essentially the same as uh, the existing uh, units that people are used to using at the same or lower cost, but offering much more flexibility and much more upgradability and, and upsell opportunities. So it's really a win-win. And uh, it's I, I'd say it's almost like an addiction. Once they start using it, they keep coming back for more. <laughs> Thanks so much, Robert. That's a great way to describe it. Uh, Dave, coming back to you, uh, you mentioned that this is one communicator that works with multiple different brands. So it's got that huge amount of flexibility where you only have to have one communicator on your on your truck. Um, uh, why don't you talk about how we were able to accomplish this and, and why it's such a game changer? Yeah, we, we have. Um, Alula is built from uh, engineers that have a long history in the industry. Um, uh, I came out of uh, uh, ITI, Interlogix, uh, as did many of the engineers. Others have worked at Honeywell. So we understand how security panels work. And we're able to basically uh, develop a single product that can support the key bus for all the panels that are listed. Uh, we currently have Honeywell DSC and Interlogix NX panels. We're adding NAPCO and Concord. So um, it's, it's mainly our experience in uh, being able to know how those panels work and then making sure that all that information is presented to our interactive platform um, in a consistent fashion. So all the arming icons show up, all the sensors are enrolled properly, um, all the users are brought up to our, our platform just by simply joining that key bus and reading the information directly out of the panel. Um, a couple of things that don't jump out as we go through the product that I'd like to highlight. If you're adding a cellular communicator to a system, some systems, especially the lower end uh, traditional panels, whether it's from DSC or Honeywell, they don't have a lot of current available on the bus and many cellular products will take a lot of current. We use a new cellular technology that's very low current and it allows the bus current on this device to be similar to a keypad. Um, that gives us the ability to be compatible with a broader range of devices out in the market without having to add secondary power supplies or, or anything along those lines. So uh, it's very flexible. These are some of the tools that really allow this to be a single product that's gonna solve all problems. It's not, well, oh, I'm on an NX4, so um, uh, you know NX4 doesn't have enough bus current available. I can't use a cell backup we have the ability to bring that technology to that uh, that particular device. And then as we join, we do auto bus detection and even auto programming of key parameters in the panel that are necessary for us to join the device gracefully. So you don't have to be an expert in programming a Honeywell system to join a Honeywell panel. Um, we take care of all the hard work for you and uh, automatically detect the bus. Uh, automatically join and uh, and then it, it's interactive ready. So uh, we try to solve all of the hard parts for you uh, before you even show up at the property. Yeah, I know uh, I've heard back from a lot of uh, partners in the field and they love that auto bus detection. Um, it just makes it plug and play, uh, makes their jobs easy. So um, that's definitely a feature that is uh, very popular in the marketplace. Um, you know, one of the things that's not popular in the marketplace is these uh, these cellular sunsets. Uh, it's been a chronic problem for our industry. Um, it's one we deal with every every uh, several years here, um, and it's one that Alula is dedicated to solving once and for all. Um, and along the way, we're going to make takeovers easier for you as well. So, uh, Dave, talk to us about how Bat Connect solves the cellular sunset. Yeah, Kevin, and you know, uh, being we're we're working with a, a bunch of our Canadian friends, uh, you you have a little bit of a, a longer pull in terms of of sunset of cellular technology, but it faces everybody globally. Every carrier decides to uh, get more and more bandwidth. 
available to the phones and and uh, computers and all the devices that are doing web surfing and, and uh, video streaming and all of those types of functions. And um, industries like security that don't use a lot of data get left in the in the dust because they have to move their cell towers to the newer technology. Well, um, Alula is focused on solving it in a couple of ways. First off, we always have multiple paths of connectivity. We are an IP first company, meaning we leverage broadband, whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi, as a path for interactive services and alarm reporting. It's highly reliable. It's available and ubiquitous in, in uh, uh, a lot of the different homes and businesses that you're going to be visiting. And that is not a technology that's going to be sunset. So if the cellular technology changes, we always have broadband availability there. We also build our products and our communicators around the latest technology in cellular. So uh, I mentioned we're using something called category M1. We're going to talk more about that in a little bit. Um, but I think one of the key features is this technology operates in the 4G segment, but is defined as the low data uh, option in the 5G world. So we're putting a technology in that works today, it'll work tomorrow, and it'll work forever around IP. So um, these are the things that allow us to deal with the sunset. Um, and then again, with this product being able to support a lot of panels on a direct bus connect, uh, that is fantastic and, and uh, provides a lot of flexibility. But beyond that, we have um, tip and ring capabilities, meaning we can just simulate a phone line and join the phone path of any panel that's out there, and then remotely arm and disarm using key switch arming. So even if it's not one we bus connect to, we have the ability to provide full interactive services on uh, virtually any system in the market, as long as it does contact ID reporting. So a very flexible solution that helps you deal with uh, addressing any sunset issues you face and preventing any sunset issues in the future. Yeah, Robert, what does this uh, this the uh, horizon for the sunset issue look like uh, in Canada and, and have your customers talked to you at all about their plans for it? Yeah, so as we said, the, the sunset, the timing is a little different in Canada than it is in the U.S., but uh, it does strike everyone eventually, and so it's always on, on installers' minds, and we've definitely run through it in the past, and it's going to happen again. Uh, and so everyone's worried about the cost of having to not just replace the equipment, but also uh, roll the truck and reprogram panels if that's necessary and that sort of thing. So uh, with both uh, BackConnect and uh, BackConnect XT, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, I believe, uh, that, that takes away that fear since uh, we know it works with uh, 4G and LT today. We know it works with 5G tomorrow. And even if all that were to, 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 to change, it still works with Ethernet. So it really just uh, gives them a, a sunset proof option. Yeah, that's exactly right, Robert. And, you know, you guys have a little more time to uh, to work with up there, but uh, do not sleep on this. It creeps up on you fast. And uh, if you have a lot of accounts on those old networks, it can become very uh, cost and time prohibitive quickly. So it pays to get started early. Um, and the Back Connect is a great way to do that. Uh, speaking of it, Dave, um, uh, this is a little bit of a technical slide, but uh, why don't you take us through what, what's inside the product, uh, kind of walk us walk us around the horn there and, and let us know how this works. Yeah, sure. Um, so kind of as we go left to right, as the numbers go, uh, what you'll see inside here, I'm going to highlight the three paths of connectivity. Uh, one and two cover our cellular radio. Again, it's category M1. We'll spend more time talking about it. We have an internal antenna. We have an external antenna option. However, because of the way category M1 works, you're going to find later that our coverage and range is going to be even better than you'd get in a traditional LTE 4G world. Um, it can, uh, it, it's wall mountable, as you can see, with wall tamper, so we can go through all of the UL, ULC compliance testing, both residential and commercial. We're going through that process right now. Uh, as you walk around a little bit, we have another path of connectivity, uh, number four, our Wi-Fi radio. Um, important note, our Wi-Fi operates to join a Wi-Fi network for interactive and reporting to the outside world. It also creates a Wi-Fi network. We're going to talk a bit more about that. Why would you want to create a Wi-Fi network? Well, we have devices like our 7-inch touchscreen that we want to be able to join our device and control the panel. We are able to do that because we create our own network. We join it and we allow that Android touchpad, which is basically the guts of what's inside our, our tablet, to now provide interactive controls on any system we can be on the bus of. So we're effectively putting that 
touchscreen on the bus of the control panel without ever having to wire it to the bus. Um, so as we walk around uh, where uh, number four is over the top of it, there's a connector number five where we can add Z-Wave. We can add automation to any of these systems. You could have a security panel that you deployed 15 years ago and the world has changed and you can now bring it to IP connectivity. You can add a seven inch touchscreen and you can add home automation to that without having to replace any of the equipment just by adding a bat connect to it. So very powerful solution. Coming down, we have ethernet available as well. So you can do a physical ethernet connection, a Wi-Fi connection and a cellular connection. And if the Wi-Fi credentials change, you can come in over the cellular path and change it without having to roll a truck. So this is just bringing together all of the different things, three paths of connectivity, remote management without a truck roll, the ability to add RMR through automation, the ability to modernize by adding a seven inch touchscreen to any system that we can uh, control, all available on a bus connected system that can do a direct key bus to uh, all our supported panels or a tip and ring and key switch for other panels. So unbelievable, you know, Swiss army knife of communicators um, uh, that uh, as Robert pointed out earlier, we're, we're seeing more and more become very addicted to because it solves so many problems that uh, dealers and technicians face every day. Absolutely, but you know, the end user actually never ends up seeing that green board, that technical stuff. Uh, what they're going to have an experience with their security system uh, with is going to be this Slimline touchpad or the phone interface. And we're really proud of this Slimline touchpad. Um, it's getting a lot of uh, attention in the industry. So um, Dave, tell us a little bit about how this works. Yeah, and, and this touchscreen was initially developed to go with our own panel, Connect Plus, which uh, again, isn't the focus of today, but it, it is our seven inch user interface for that panel. But we said, you know, we're building this consistent user interface. One of the things missing uh, in the interactive control um, providers is a consistent user interface between what's in the app and what's on the wall. Um, Alarm.com doesn't have an easy job doing it because they don't build the panels, so they have to get cooperation from their partners. Uh, somehow, even Honeywell decided to go down different paths in their user interface and, and don't have consistency in the UI. Um, we think that's important because it reduces complexity and training and service calls for you as you deploy new technology. So we have the seven inch touchscreen. You can view and control cameras. You can view and control automation devices. You see there controlling a thermostat. Unfortunately, it's in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, but it's easily switched and configured um, for, for uh, uh, any market. And the icons and user experience here is very, very consistent with what you're gonna see uh, in the app. This is a battery backed AC powered device. It can be wall or table mounted. That's important to note because if you're going in and putting one of these systems on a takeover, that might be a DSC panel that was installed years ago, you can hook the bat connect up to the bus. You can take one of the keypads uh, off the wall, use the wires, wall mount and put this touch screen in and now give an updated user interface and replace the old yellow keypads with a brand new seven inch color touch screen. That's really cool. You just put our transformer on one end hook the wires up to both either a terminal, uh, we have a terminal block right there that can reuse those wires and you're up and running. You can also add it as a secondary touch pad, uh, leave the keypads in place and pop this up in the bedroom so people can see their cameras if something happens in the middle of the night. And it can be a, a nightstand or table mount device and it has a barrel connector and a power supply to plug right in. So we tried to think through all the different use cases, all the flexibility behind this uh, in order to make it work and become usable in uh, almost any application. Thanks, Dave. I'm here a little typing in the background. If uh, if you could just go on mute, if you're not speaking, that'd be fantastic. And um, Dave, you mentioned that it's both desk and wall mount. You know, another uh, great use case for that is you can send it to the customer now without ever having to go inside. Um, they can get it up and running and start using it. And then after this coronavirus thing is over, you can go back and mount it on the wall. Um, so it allows that flexibility of install that allows for a contactless install during this particular time period. Uh, but then you can go back and um, put it right on the wall once you have a little bit uh, more time and once people are a little bit more comfortable um, having people come into their homes again. Uh, great great this is, point. This, this is certainly one of the most uh, exciting parts of it um, uh, that was recently added, Dave. So uh, 
tell us about this this how it speaks yeah and, and um it, you said it was recently added one thing i've neglected to point out is all of our systems whether it's our communicators our touch pads or our panel uh check in once a day to see if there's any new firmware or features available and if so it'll automatically do an update um so that's part of our interactive service and so every touchpad we had deployed uh started to get these new capabilities just recently um one of the things our system hadn't done initially is provide voice enunciation uh whether it's arming status sensor open close all of those types of uh, functions that you might see on a qualsys or a two gig or uh, a simon panel and so we added um uh, flexible voice enunciation to our touchpad um, we've also added some new screensaver capabilities so uh, all of these features went to every system being deployed and every system that had been deployed um, and it went through an automatic update to get there we've also added flexibility in configuring every screen so if you have a touchpad that's in a bedroom you can uh, establish quiet hours where it won't talk you can have flexibility over programming does it only say uh zones or does it say arming status or trouble conditions all of these are configurable so you have a lot of flexibility and each touchpad can be programmed independently so you can have one that talks down in the living area and one that's quiet up in the bedroom you can have it go completely dark or go to a screensaver mode all depending on the application and preference of that customer and the important note here is you can add voice enunciation to any system that we connect up to so if you're putting this on a dsc system you can add automation, the touchpad, and now you can have that old DSC system speak. Uh, as long as it's one of the Power Series or Honeywell Vista, we can add voice, automation, video, and full interactive controls to every one of those systems. And Dave, are these, uh, we see a, a couple of word bubbles over here, are these pre-programmed in, or, or is it the kind of thing that the end user uh, can change maybe based on regional differences? I love how you take care of me and make sure I don't forget all the important points, Kevin. Um, <laughs> Yes, it, uh, it it does full text to speech. So whatever you name your zone, uh, that is what it's going to speak. And and uh, we all sit and play games to try to make it say funny things by uh, renaming our zones or or uh, or system names. Um, so it, it's it's actually very comprehensive in terms of language capabilities. Uh, and you know uh, we're, we're finding in the sunset world, we've got a couple of our partners who are actually using this um, to help get. Deal, uh, get customers to pay for the upgrades. So they, you know, uh, we all are faced with this, uh, okay, I have, a, I have a sunset, a cellular sunset, I need to go replace the radio, my customer doesn't wanna pay for it. Well, now you can go in and upgrade and say, I tell you what, we're offering a doorbell camera or a touchpad um, installed for, for $200. And it basically can pay for the cost of the equipment and the truck roll to, to make that thing happen. So there's ways that you can use these enhanced features to help cover the cost of sunsets if you're faced with that, um, or really create uh, uh, lower attrition rates because they're less likely to switch to a new technology if they have the latest and greatest based on what you brought into their home. That's a great, uh, great point, Dave. And, and one of the ways that you can bring people the latest and greatest um, is with the back connect. Um, you know, we know that uh, a lot of people were taken off guard and surprised uh, at the end of last year uh, by the sudden announcement around Interlogix. Um, never like to see that, but uh, we know that there's some people out there that need a lifeline. And uh, luckily, we're able to step in and, and help them out. Um, Dave, talk to me about how we're able to help former Interlogix dealers modernize those existing uh, uh, panels that are in the field. Yeah, it was really sad to see Interlogix shut down. As I mentioned before, I, I worked there for many years um, and uh, a lot of good people in, in technology that uh, that was delivered through there. And, and none of us, even though we compete in some ways, want to see any company uh, suffer like that. So that was sad to see. But um, you know, the, the good news side of it is we have solutions for people. Uh, our um, Bat Connect currently works uh, today on the NX panel, and we are soon adding Concord bus uh, capabilities as well. So we have, uh, uh, you know, we already have the Honeywell Vista, the DSC Power Series. Now we're adding the uh, and the NX. Now we're adding Concord uh, and Napco to that mix. And um, we have coming soon Connect XT. Uh, which when I say soon, we're building them this week. Um, it is a category M1 cellular radio that snaps right into the XT, XTI, and XTI5 panels. 
Um, so if you have any of those in the field, that can be a, a touch-free installation because uh, that one, you open the cover of the door, snap out the old card, pop the new one in, and it's up and running with our full interactive capabilities. So uh, you'll see that coming, coming very soon. And we have um, a variety of different solutions to help uh, Interlogix deal, dealers make that transition in terms of, of uh, uh, both Sunset rebates and Interlogix rebates that we can uh, uh, introduce you to if you're faced with uh, uh, trying to manage a transition from one manufacturer to another. Yeah, Dave, you mentioned how easy Connect XT is to install. I mean, if you can make Toast, you can make a Connect XT uh, transition um, with these Simon alarm panels. It's that easy. You just flip up the back, snap it right in. So it is something that an end user can do. It's something my mother could could figure out how to do if I was coaching her over the phone. And of course, we do expect the pro uh, to still be in the picture and helping him out with that. Um, you mentioned it, Dave, the Connect XT. So let's we're building it this week. Um, so. Tell us about this fantastic new product and uh, how it's basically saving Simon from the sunset. Yeah, and if any, if any of you are familiar with the Connect Plus product, uh, I don't know who all's on the call here, but if you used our panel and added a cellular card to it, you'll see it looks very familiar. Um, that's because it's the exact same card. It just has different firmware on it. Uh, Kevin, as you pointed out, uh, you flip the door open, you pop that card right in. You can see uh, down on the bottom of the picture of the Simon panel, that's where the antenna slips right in, in under the cover. Um, and you can close that up and you now have a full cellular retrofit to the Simon panel. The app will look identical with the one exception. Um, any uh, when, whether it's a Connect XT or a Bat Connect, when it connects up to our interactive, it tells what type of panel it's connected to. And then the arm, arming icons on our app will automatically change based on the panel. So if there's no night arming available, uh, then no night arming will show uh, in terms of an icon. In the Simon world, the arming levels are slightly different than other panels. That's automatically managed through the, uh, the communicator itself and through our, uh, our backend platform. And that's true whether it's on a touchpad or the app itself. So uh, easy install, fully self-contained, and uh, uh, look for that coming to market here um, uh, at the end of April. Thanks, Dave. And you guys wonder how Alula knows so much about Simon and the inner workings of it. Uh, my favorite piece of Alula trivia, uh, our VP of engineering, Paul Saldin, was actually the voice of Simon, uh, the Simon 2 uh, series. So um, if you ever get him on the phone and, and you think you may have met him before, that might be why. Um, so Dave, uh, doors and windows on. <laughs> uh you you touched on it before about how how it modernizes it but let's let's just take off all the ways in which uh all the new features that it can bring to those old simons yeah i mean you know i i, I don't want to just sit and read bullets but i'm going to highlight a couple of them video integration i mentioned our video can run totally independent of a security system or it can be an add-on to any communicator or panel that we uh that we work with so you can now have fully integrated video um into the app and you'll see the app over on the left-hand side. It's a customizable dashboard. It shows your arming, your, your uh, favorite cameras, and your favorite sensors all on a single screen. So it'll be integrated with all of the Simon arming right in that inside that app. You can get the Connect XT with or without Z-Wave. So you can add full Z-Wave automation to that device. And we have powerful scenes and programming engine uh, that are programmable based on security events, time of day events, or... Um, uh, Z-Wave triggers. So you could have it every time I unlock a Z-Wave lock, it will disarm the security system. So we have that level of flexibility we can put into the mix. Uh, this the, the Connect XT is a um, category M1 cellular radio. So as we described before, it operates in the 4G world and will carry over into the 5G world. And it comes up to our Lula Connect platform where it can be totally remotely managed uh, and configured and troubleshot from your office without having to roll a truck. So every benefit we bring in every one of our other products rolls into the Connect XT. Boy, that remote panel programming is more important than ever. Um, you know, in a time when people are uh, not wanting a lot of people coming to their home, the ability for you to do it from uh, your home office um, and to do it remotely uh, is a lifesaver. 
Um, and so with the option of being able to, this being so easy for someone to self-install, you can, you can literally service this panel without ever having to show up on site, um, at least until this particular period is over. And then we would encourage you to go back there uh, and look for opportunities um, to do stuff like add cameras, uh, add a doorbell camera. Um, there's a lot you could do with that. Um, so Dave, really quickly, let's just kind of in introduce people to a little interactive. Uh, you mentioned it before, uh, people might be uh, familiar with the alarm.com product, um, and we want to make sure people understand that uh, we're not compatible with that. We're actually another option. Yeah, and, and you know, people always ask us to compare. How do you compare with, uh, with you know, one interactive system or another? I think there's two things I'd like to highlight in terms of uh, where I think we have strengths. I don't like to uh, disparage anybody. I think there's a lot of good technology delivered by every provider in the market. Um, and uh, uh, we just happen to have a little different approach. Um, our network is blazing fast. Um, and so uh, one of the things that jumps out to people if you're coming off of any other interactive offering uh, is the speed of responsiveness. And that's critical in the world of automation and the world of uh, consumers' expectations around connected devices. When you hit a button to unlock a door, it's raining outside or snowing outside, uh, you want that thing to unlock right away, not 37 seconds later. Ours is typically sub-second response time. So instant on, instant responsiveness. It's an always on connection. Automation functions and, and scenes are run locally down in the device itself. So it's fast. It's and it's responsive. Um, I think you know the the other big thing that we have this this consistent user experience is critical uh, in terms of um, bringing value. Whether you're working on the device on the wall or the device in your pocket and having the experience be the same, I think that gives a better value proposition. And as we roll forward, gives opportunities for you to present your brand and your user experience uh, consistently in all your marketing and all of your um, uh, customer interactions. And then the totally integrated solution capability of bringing video security and automation under one umbrella, under one hood. I think we've done that as elegantly as anybody else in the marketplace. And we deliver our services in a very uh, straightforward manner. You don't get nickel and dime. You don't have to pay a lot of extra as you add new features. When you add automation, you pay for automation, but it doesn't matter how many devices you add. So we try to keep the the way we bill you and the way we interface with you very simple uh and then give you all the tools necessary to compete yeah dave i, th I think you hit the nail on the head i mean people don't want to use multiple apps i mean if you look at your own kind of experiences you probably have 30 40 apps on your phone but how many of them are you opening every day maybe three or four of them um that's kind of what the industry is showing us and so the idea of having a, a separate app for automation or a separate app to look at the video or um, having to learn a different a different uh, app for the touch screen than the app that you have on your phone. Um, unfortunately, um, customers just don't have that level of patience anymore. Um, and so by bringing it all together, giving them one solid user interface that controls their entire home, whether they're in their kitchen uh, using the touchpad or at work uh, using their cell phone, um, it, it really makes it easier on the end consumer. It makes it sticky. And when they're using that app every day, um, they're getting value out of it and your attrition rates will be non-existent. So um, it's, a, it's a very powerful um, and yet simple and elegant um, uh, interactive experience for the user. Um, I, I, we mentioned that unified experience, Dave. What, what, you mentioned that we can do this and nobody else seems to be able to do this. And again, we're not gonna disparage anybody, but I just think from a technical perspective, it's interesting to understand. Dave, why, why are we able to actually um, unite these two different interfaces people use? Yeah, th that's where the power of uh, what we call vertical integration, again, meaning we, we own the interactive platform and we design all the products that, that present that uh, inside the home or inside the business. So, um, uh, it, it, you know, if, if you're in alarm.com shoes, you're partnering for your security panel support. And they have good partners, but they have to convince that partner to operate and see the same roadmap or same investments on here's new features we want uh, that the interactive provider does. And so uh, because we're able to control both ends of that, um, we can drive that level of consistency. And I think the other thing is we have a tighter integration on the key bus than most other uh, communicators in the market. So we get a full um, view of what's going on in that panel. We read the user codes out. We read the zone names out. 
You can change the zone names on our system so they're a little more flexible because some panels kind of restrict it. But we have that tight integration that others don't uh, don't have, and I think it just comes down on um, our approach on on the importance of doing a tight integration and in our knowledge of of the panels in the marketplace. Thanks for that context, Dave. That's very illuminating. I mean, I, I got to tell you, when I first came into this industry, this was one of the first things I couldn't understand. It seems like such a simple thing uh, and such a smart thing to do for your customer. Um, and I, over and over again, I couldn't figure out why no one else could solve this problem. And then, I, as you mentioned, I, I came to understand it's because Alula is that all-in-one partner. Uh, you're not going to different vendors for hardware and another vendor for the uh, interactive services and then wondering why uh, they don't work well together. And you call one and they say it's the other guy's fault. With us, it's one stop shop. It's one partner for all this stuff. And that's where you get that tighter integration that Dave's talking about is because uh, if you really want to innovate with software, you got to own the hardware and vice versa. Um, so. It comes to life with smart homes and, and, and the way that that is now uh, increasingly blended with our security systems. So, um, Dave, tell us about the smart home capabilities that we've got built into this. Yeah, and, it, you know, th this slide highlights the speed I spoke to earlier. Uh, that becomes critical, and it's even more critical now because consumers are adding devices that have nothing to do with security, uh, connected devices in the, in their homes and in their businesses. So their expectations are, are higher and speed matters. Um, but it's a very comprehensive set of uh, automation services um, and scene development. And, and I mentioned a little bit before how we can trigger events based on security, uh, based on time of day, based on automation events. We can run, uh, I don't even remember how many scenes, but uh, you know, countless scenes that run locally down in the device so uh, they maintain that, that speed and interaction with one another. And it's a very intuitive, programming interface to set that up. And we're constantly investing in more cloud to cloud integrations, more device support. But basically, if it's a Z-Wave device uh, and it's in the world of locks, lights, thermostats, um, we're going to we're going to support it. And we have tested it and we are fully certified with the latest certification levels of Z-Wave. Um, and we're providing tools to interface with that on our app, on our touchpad as well as uh, uh, complicated scenes that can be developed and run right down locally in the communicator or in the panel, uh, making for a great experience for your customers. Yeah, what I really like about this is the flexibility um, of this scenes engine. Um, yeah, sure, you could do the, the normal stuff we all expect, like having lights come up when the sun goes down or having the temperature change when you leave or come back home. Um, but I think we've all had those experiences of, of I mean, every home's different and every customer has their own uh, particular um, thing that they want to accomplish. And it's almost a fun game to play in terms of, OK, you know, what, what do you want to do? And we're going to figure out actually how to do that. And so if you have any unique uh, installations like that um, in the home automation world, please let us know in the chat. Uh, Hillary is monitoring that. We're about to get to that in the Q&A here shortly. So be really interested to hear any uh, really fun ideas that you guys have in the field. Um, we mentioned video earlier, uh, in particular the doorbell. So uh, Dave, talk to us a little bit about what uh, we're able to do with video and how it's integrated into our uh, security system. Yeah, so we currently offer four cameras, a doorbell, uh, two indoor models and an outdoor um, bullet camera. Um, all of our video uh, in, it is a hybrid model where there's storage on every one of the cameras. There's an SD card, so any detected movement is stored on the camera and then pushed up to our own hosted cloud service. Uh, it's our, our video service platform. Um, some important notes, I mean, uh, with every camera, you can get live look in, talk and listen uh, capabilities. So, so you get two-way audio down to those devices. Uh, the clips are detected by the camera. Uh, you get notifications on every one of the clips uh, and then it, it moves up to our cloud. But as you start to look through the clips collected in any day, um, the clip, viewing is right on our main dashboard. So you don't have to bounce between screens to see it. And all the video can not only be displayed in the app, but also in the touchpad. This becomes critical as you get into doorbells. Um, you can configure the touchpad to do the doorbell chime, uh, to voice enunciate that somebody's at the door and it automatically opens up a two-way video session down to that uh, uh, doorbell device right from your touchpad. So uh, very powerful and tight integration. And as I mentioned at the onset, you can run video as a standalone and just get in the market of putting some cameras in and, and having a standalone video, although most see value in integrating that with our communicator 
uh, and, and or panel uh, in order to bring that to market. And Robert, I know you get, do really good business with the Alula Video Doorbell. Uh, talk to me about why you recommend that uh, to your customers is, is the best one for the independent dealers. Right. So we know that end users right now are definitely falling in love with video doorbells. There's no doubt about it. And I think, you know, never before like we are now in the current time. So the question is really whether the dealer wants to put in a doorbell that's ready, readily available on, uh, you know, an Amazon or something to that effect uh, and, and not have any recurring revenue opportunities and then additionally lose touch with the customer, the end user, or do they want to go with a product that lets them build their business and reduce churn on their accounts? And obviously, for those using Back Connect or Connect Plus alarms, it's it's really a no-brainer for them. Uh, but it can also, as you just said, be used as a gateway to add security after the fact. Uh, start out with the video doorbell and then introduce security later. So uh, it's a win-win again. Yeah, and a lot of the doorbells that you're talking about are off the shelf. Um, the dealer doesn't actually get to keep the RMR. Um, oftentimes it's a big tech company that's going to take that. Uh, so Correct. they end up just having to install the doorbell, but not actually benefiting from the account. Yes, exactly. And and frankly, the margins are on, on just the hardware alone. Uh, there, there's really nothing there for them. And so it would have to be uh, just on the installation service. Whereas with this, we have the installation, the hardware, which isn't advertised. So there's some margin in the product. And then there's also the uh, the ongoing revenue. That's smart. Thanks for bringing that to light. Hey, while I have you, why don't you tell us a little bit about these uh, handsome looking people from Arte? Right, thank you very much. So uh, the, the first thing I noticed is that this slide highlights the fact that we need either a new photographer or some better equipment. But anyways, the point is, this is the Artec family. It's actually a couple of years old, so some of the faces have changed. But uh, we've been we've been in this business for a long time now. We've been uh, we, I, I actually started if if you uh, remember one of the first slides, I started this business in my basement back in 2002, uh, selling X10 product. For those of you who have been around long enough to remember that uh, the early days of home automation. But the the point is is that uh, we're here. We're we're small enough. This is something that we that I'm very proud of. I, I feel like we're small enough to take to care about our customers. Every single one of our customers are important to us, and that's something that only I think a small business and a and a, and a, and a family run business like ours can say. Uh, but at the same time, we we're big enough to take care of you. In other words. We've been in, we've been doing this for 18 years. Uh, we we know the ins and outs of the market. We know our customers very well. We know our vendors. We've we've grown from a single vendor to over 60, and uh, we've done that on service. Um, we we like to. As a matter of fact, um, I had to go look this up because I was wondering how long we've been partnered with Alula, and uh, you mentioned that Alula is sort of a newer brand. The fact is, we've actually been selling and and partnering with Alula since back in 2011. That was when we placed our first order back when the the, the brand was called Resolution before it merged with IP Datatel, and back then it was strictly sensors. And and why was that a good product? It was a good product because. Uh, it brought to market um, a, a better warranty, a longer range, and honestly, a more reliable product than some of the original brands. And our customers really appreciated that. As, as products were failing, they were actually replacing it with this brand. And so as that brand grew, uh, we were just, we were happy to support them. And, and frankly speaking, we've, you know, you're asking why, why our tech? You know, when it comes to Alula, we, uh, and I can say this honestly, have, really helped them establish the brand in Canada uh, in the sense that we've worked with them to uh, to promote their 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 line through the uh, the monitoring stations and obviously through our dealers and I, I believe to this day we still have some of the best stock in the industry on Alula products and on top of that obviously we've been working in the smart home business from the beginning so uh, you know when we started this people had to be uh, we had to explain why do you want to have automation in your house? It was almost like we were trying to explain to them why they needed a TV remote. And of course now it's 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 everywhere. And and but you know, we 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 support and we provide a full range of door locks and thermostats and light switches and all the pieces that you need to put this all together and we keep it in stock. Thanks, Robert. You've been a great partner all these years, and we really appreciate the opportunity to do this joint webinar with you. Talk to your customers. Um, and we hope everyone will go to our tech, uh, it's the next available opportunity um, to place an order. So if you need to place an order for our tech Canada, call your representative or call 1-877-760-3105. If you'd like to become an Alula Pro, 
visit alula.com backslash pro sign up. You can download our product sheets directly from this webinar under handouts, or you can email sales at alula.net. And stay tuned for our next webinar. We'll be covering Connect Plus on Wednesday, May 13th. But before you go, we've got the best part of the event, which is the questions and answers. Hillary, I know they've been coming in throughout the event. Um, what do you got for us? Well, I have hundreds of questions, Kevin, but we're going to stick to just a handful here. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody who's asked a, a question and typed into our chat box today. So um, I'm going to start with this one. Stephen would like to know, where is the video hosted? Dave, that's a good one for you. Where does uh, uh, Lula host their video? Yeah, um, our video and, and uh, major portions of our entire interactive platform are, are hosted on uh, AWS, which is um, uh, Amazon Web Services, which, which is basically um, a scalable platform that allows us to instantly spin up more resources, computing power, memory, and other things as necessary as, as we get into peak demands. What you find in video world, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll use... Uh, uh, Halloween as an example, you have a lot of people running around in neighborhoods ringing doorbells and it's creating a lot of uh, a lot of events and a lot of activity. Um, we're able to spin up additional resources to uh, to make sure we can handle and process all that and get the clips delivered uh, in a timely fashion. And so having that flexibility is powerful and that's where we uh, uh, have um, really all of our interactive either hosted or migrating towards. Thanks, Dave. Hillary, what's next? Um, well, let's see here. Paul would like to know, um, is there DSC Neo support for the Back Connect? That's, Dave, you want to take that? Sure. I'll, um, you know, we, we mentioned uh, panels and we talked a lot about DSC. We're bus integrated on the DSC Power Series. So, uh, you know, all the, uh, um, I'll, I'll say uh, they're, they're still current, but uh, that have been in market for, for many years. We're compatible with the Honeywell Vista. In the Neo world, we don't direct bus connect to that. However, we do have um, tip and ring support, key switch arming support, uh, and we can do full alarm signaling and remote arming. We can add automation and video to a Neo installation. We just don't direct bus connect. So you lose things like um, the ability to you know use downloader uh, tools to the panel, the ability to uh, get zone names and users directly reported in, but you have full interactive control and automation and video really on any system that can report contact ID and that has any sort of a phone connectivity. And we'll look to add more panels over time, um, but we already have a, a very comprehensive list uh, either in market or or soon to, to hit market. Thanks, right. Dave. Um, Sean, Ron, and Frank all have the same question. They're wondering if there's any plans that we have to work with Paradox panels. Ah, Paradox. Yeah, that's a, it's a product we have some experience with um, in the past. On uh, We've made communicators uh, like similar to Bat Connect for many years, and we've, we've worked with the Paradox. We currently don't have anything... Um, on our roadmap in terms of, of providing that support in Bat Connect, however, uh, our roadmap, I own our roadmap for the company and, and uh, you know, my team and, and Paul Saldine who runs engineering, we meet all the time and look at um, where do we need to head as a company and that where we need to head often comes from feedback from people like yourselves. So, um, you know, uh, I, I encourage you to take a look. I think Hillary had uh, suggested download the app and run through the demo, become more familiar with our interactive. As you start to see opportunities that we're missing, um, provide that feedback. And uh, I can't guarantee you we're going to do it, but I can guarantee you we get our roadmap and our ideas from working with people like Robert, from working with people like yourselves and getting that feedback. We don't like to develop technology just for technology's sake. It has to be to solve a business problem and to connect technology to people's lives. And uh, and that's really our goal. So um, uh, we we familiar with Paradox, we don't have it supported today, but as opportunities come up, um, keep us posted and we will dive in. Any more? All right. right. Uh, next. Yep. Next one is from Adam. How do you add wireless sensor communication? Does it come built in or have a spot for the card that allows to communicate with different lines of sensors? That's an interesting uh, uh, angle and, and you know, pretty uh, um, 
people thinking about uh, a complicated solution. So in, in the world of Connect Plus, which is our panel, um, we have a card that you can add. It's called a translator card and it allows it um, other wireless technologies. We have our own encrypted wireless that's built into Connect Plus, but we can support enrolling other devices into our panel. Um, in the BAT Connect world, we are connecting up to a panel uh, and we're relying on that security system to enroll all the sensors and to provide all the security logic. We interact with it, but we don't enroll the sensors directly. So um, in BAT Connect world, if the sensor is on the panel, we will see it, we will report it, we can interact with it, we can show it on our app, we can show it on the touchpad. Um, if you're adding new sensors, you either wire a new input into the hardwire device or you enroll another de uh, device into re a receiver that's native to that panel. So nothing through BAT Connect in that world. So it, you know, the, the response in BAT Connect, no, you don't enroll a sensor, you enroll it in the panel and then we will see it. Uh, in our own panel, we have the ability to enroll virtually any type of wireless device into that. All right, I think we have a little bit of time for one more question. So, um, Stephen is curious, how many Z-Wave devices can be interfaced? There's two responses to that. Um, we have the ability to uniquely name, I think it's 60 Z-Wave devices. Um, I'll verify that and, and get back to you, Hillary, but I'm pretty sure 60 is the unique name, uh, but, I'm, uh, but we can enroll 256 devices into a single Z-Wave network. So uh, you, you can enroll more than we can uniquely name. It's just uh, coming up with the, uh, the naming structure is the only challenge. The most I've ever seen, we have gone over the 60, and I think it was right in the 90 range, uh, uh, a gentleman uh, down in the Houston area that, that put 90 devices on our, uh, on our system. Pretty heavy home automation user, clearly. Oh, one other note I'll make in the Z-Wave world, we are Z-Wave Plus certified. So if there's already existing Z-Wave Hub, one of the things that the new certification allows you to do is get visibility to everything enrolled into that hub. So we have a couple of instances where um, it's a non-security system hub of some sort that was acquired, uh, call it a wink or something along those lines. Um, we're able to see and, 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 and basically become a, a sibling to that particular hub and see all of their devices. It's, it, so there's a single enrollment. So from that standpoint, we also have the ability to kind of enroll an adjacent uh, network, which is kind of a unique thing. Thanks, Dave. And that's going to have to bring it to a close for us today. Uh, Robert, Dave, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. Hillary, thank you for helping me run the show, running the board and getting those questions in the chat. Uh, if you want to buy uh, some Alula product from Artec Canada, again, just call 1-877-760-3105. Um, and we'll be having another webinar on Connect Plus Wednesday, May 13th. If you enjoyed this one, we'd love to have you back. Um, in the meantime, stay safe and stay prosperous.